So the Golden Globes are tonight. And I'm like, okay, what did they, are they coming back swinging, right? Because they were canceled because it was like Golden Globes so white, basically, right? It was, mm. it was like Hollywood Foreign Press, which votes on the nominations, was all white. And then it came out that they were, I didn't actually know this because I'm not a Hollywood person, but they were neck deep in like buying the votes. Like oh, yeah. everyone, all the studios were whining and dining, the people who are part of the Hollywood Foreign Press. I guess, um, what's that show? Emily in Paris. Mm. Uh, it came out that they took a bunch of these people with votes over to Paris for like two nights for like the equivalent of $1,400 a night hotel and accommodations and so on. And lo and behold, that show got nominated, right? So like, it's kind of how it works. <laughs> Anyway, it became controversial, especially because of the diversity thing. And they canceled it. Like, didn't happen for two years or happened, was canceled for one year. And then the next year they did it, but they didn't have a TV show. Tonight it's back on. Did they get Ricky Gervais? Come out swinging. Say, you know what? We're over that wokeness <laughs> nonsense. We're just going to be us and we're going to try to drive numbers, which we've never done before. No, no. They have Jared Carmichael. Has anybody ever heard of Jared Carmichael? No. Uh, is he my See, dentist? That's how, uh, Who's <laughs> I think he was a receiver for the Eagles in the 80s. Yeah, yeah he was great. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they got your dentist. Surprise. <laughs> oh, man. Um, and I don't know. What, what my team tells me is he's a sort of wokeified comedian who they use on NBC a lot. Steve, hmm. forgive me for quoting your text publicly. He's one of those sort of comedians who really just talks about race and sexual identity a lot. That sounds fun. That sounds oh, really like hilarious. a laugh riot. Yeah. So he's going to be hosting it. And um, this in the midst of like a season where, you know, there's like a push to get rid of the gender categories now over at the Oscars and potentially the Golden Globes. The LA Times think, thinks that best actress is sexist. And what mm -hmm. we really need is gender neutrality in all the awards. Um they're saying the Grammys went gender neutral 10 years ago, so they're going more woke than ever, and they'll probably have fewer ratings than ever because uh, the movies being featured, other than Top Gun Maverick, are going to be woke and pandery and all the things we've seen coming out of Hollywood the past several years. So will anybody watch? And are no. we happy this thing is are coming back? Are you joking to see Hoagy Carmichael <laughs> talk about race before movies I've never seen? Good Lord, no. I will say this. I, I noticed this morning, there were two things this morning uh, that, I, that I noticed. One was a story that said, you know, the inexorable rise in the murder of transgender people. That was the first thing. The second one I saw, and I'm not going to derail this. Uh, Megan, it was the Meghan Markle thing. They said, you know, as the the racist <laughs> coverage of Meghan Mar Markle proves, and these two things hit me, and I said, oh God, these are the things that no one looks into, and they're just established as facts, and no one's ever checked them. And I want to throw to Camille on this because it was the same thing <laughs> happened in in the 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 Oscars and the Golden Globes, and it was um, uh, Oscars so white. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, the reason I do a podcast with uh, Camille is because he's a clever guy who says, wait a second, and starts digging into the numbers. And it turned out that Oscar So White wasn't even true, correct, Camille? No. Am I wrong about no, this? No, it, was, it wasn't really? true. And I, and I don't remember the exact figures, um, but I went back and crunched the numbers for like 30 years um, on You're the nice. nominations <laughs> for like the top categories. And I think black people secured like 25 or 30 percent of the nominations which i mean 13 odd percent 18 percent of the population of the united states it's 13 right 13. um like 13. that is that's pretty impressive and and i believe that uh morgan freeman denzel washington like some of the most like, nominated and decorated actors and actresses in hollywood i also went and looked at like box office numbers to, to see, like, do people, are are they willing to see films with black people and leads? Yeah, hell yeah. Samuel mm -hmm. L. Jackson, I believe, is like the number one guy associated with films and dollars earned at the box office. Wow. We have a, pre a preposterous obsession with race, and it precedes evidence. It is all about presumptions. Um, and I... I don't know how I feel. I, I guess I don't care if they want to get rid of the the sort of gendered actor, actress categories, but I can't for the life of me understand why having the two be segregated by a gender would actually be bigoted 
and misogynistic. Well, you will care. How does that work? You will care, sir, when Samuel L. Jackson never wins another award again <laughs> because he's the wrong gender. <laughs> Well, that, that's, that's so 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 much the worse for him, not me, actually. But that's uh, what but, I, like. Yeah. I love this woman, Sasha Stone. She's come on this show and she does awards daily. She's been writing about Hollywood forever, and this is the point she's been making, which is you know they're so they're so wokeified now in Hollywood. If you merge the categories, good luck to all the future men like who, who mm-hmm. might have otherwise won an award. They're not going to. It's going to be you know eight of the top ten are going to be women, 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 women. And maybe they'll throw like the bottom two to like some man who also checks another uh, some sort of diversity box. But like the Moynihan's and the Welsh's of the world, you can forget it. You're ne- you're never getting a shiny golden statue. I don't get anything. I get fired. <laughs> I just, I I'm not getting any awards ever. Uh, you, know, well, you, you got some Emmys. You got, you got some a Emmys bunch on, of Emmys. I have yeah. two Emmys, but um, would you like to see them? I could just bring them on camera. For I have never been able to compost before. It was always too complicated and too much work. Not anymore. Thanks to Lomi. Lomi allows me to turn my food scraps into dirt with the push of a button. This is a countertop electric composter that turns scraps to dirt in under four hours. There's no smell when it runs, and it's super quiet. Thanks to Lomi, I have way less garbage each week, too. Instead, I turn this waste into nutrient-rich dirt that I can feed to my plants. Now, I'm composting and creating soil with my kids' help instead of creating waste. I have a basically limitless supply of dirt from my garden, and if you would like to join me in this endeavor and start making a positive environmental impact or just make cleanup after dinner that much easier, Lomi is perfect for you. Go to lomi.com slash MK and use the promo code MK to get $50 off your Lomi. That's $50 off when you head to lomi.com slash MK. Use that promo code MK at checkout. Food waste is gross. Let Lomi save you a cold trip out to the garbage can. Lomi.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.